Okay, hello. Hi, Oscar. Hi, teacher. How are you? How are you today? All right. Can't complain. Uh, okay. Yeah, no problem. Everything's just the I mean, okay. nice. Same thing, different days. Okay, just uh, yeah, give me a second. I need to fix something here. And be right back. Snap. Okay, good. All right. Okay, how about you? How was your day? Uh, it's, it's normal. You know, that's some things, you know, that I, I, I can tell you that uh, I'm suffering from, from depression or kind of anxiety, you know, that uh -huh. I used to do the same thing all day long. Yeah. And it's, it's like, uh, I don't know, but it's, it's like I need something, for example, uh, just just to tell you an, an example to uh, last time I remember that uh, uh, one of these days I was uh, for some reason I was uh, uh, looking for some music and, mm -hmm. and I came across to uh, into a nice song and, and I uh, I played that I played it and I I felt really uh, multi kind of uh, motivated uh -huh. but it, it's, it's like I, I'm sure that uh, there's no there's not gonna be always a, a situation like that that uh, the music makes me feel better. But so uh -huh. I need to uh, deal with uh, with this type of situation. I think that at the end is it's like a uh, yeah. stay your mind, like a, to be positive and you know that to, to practice yoga. Well, I don't know, but <laughs> I'm, I'm feel like a, a little weak in this uh -huh. area. You know, mentally talking about yeah. mentally. Uh, yeah. mentally state. Oh, you know, I think uh, there are levels, right? There are levels, like you said. Some people probably feeling even maybe, I don't know, like you said, probably depression, right? But, you know, to talk about depression is something really, you know, big words, right? Like something really big. But uh, there are levels. And uh, sometimes we feel kind of tired, uh, boring of doing, you know, the like you said, the same... Uh, the same thing every day so we fall into a routine and yeah i think that we, well i i go through things like that sometimes you know like getting up early and going to the traffic going to work come back then uh but this is probably when we are also physically tired right and excuse me you said when we are typical uh, physically okay. physically physically tired oh. too, then you know our body does not react. But when we are, you know, kind of, uh, we feel good physically, then we can probably go and, you know, what I do is when, when I feel really tired or of doing the same thing, you no, know, physically, I stop doing what I'm doing and then I, I, uh, I go to play soccer or I go to, like you said, I go to do some exercise. I go jogging. And then uh, after that, you know, I, I, I am really physically tired, fall asleep. I, well, I take a shower, fall asleep, and then I get up and I feel better. Uh, so I think it's, uh, like you said, you know, like practicing yoga, we can do many things in order to to uh, feel motivated, right, to keep on. Because, you know, the, the heat is also sometimes uh, affects, right? Luckily, like you said yesterday, fortunately, uh, yesterday and today has been, well, I was in, I, I I was uh, remembering the the talk we had last night this morning because I was in Santa Tecla and it was about five thirty, and it was you know mm -hmm. kind of cool because uh, I think the temperature was like eighteen or nineteen. Uh, then it was well, it was nice. It was feeling really nice. I was not wearing a sweater, <laughs> but in the moment I I thought you know I would have been good if I had brought a a sweater, but you know, but I didn't. So I think uh, all these issues, you know, we had to know how to, we had to learn, you know, to to control that, right? Yeah, I mean, imagine in my case, uh, I I, I uh, jump rope uh, every day, jump mm -hmm. the rope uh, in order to to keep uh, to keep me 
me helping helping uh -huh, you know? uh -huh, uh -huh. But uh, I feel, you know, and, and for example, I started to jump in that, uh, and I remember that I can I can stand uh, jumping for like ten minutes, and now mm -hmm. I'm getting better. I can last uh, fifteen minutes, and and I'm still wow. got uh, uh, the strength to to keep on going. But uh -huh. I stop because I know that I just need to to do that for fifteen minutes to burn the 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 fat. Yes. You know? And and I feel really nice right after that. I feel like energetic, positive. Uh -huh. But uh, right after that, a couple of hours later, then I feel the same state of mind again. And you know, it's, it's difficult. I think that it's like a, I need to uh, I need to train my brain as yes, well. Yeah, also <laughs> correct. Yeah, like they said, I cultivate it. Not listening music, reading a good book. Well, you know, learning a language is good. Uh, yeah, yeah. you know this uh there is an the, well you know the 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 duolingo app you know probably you can start practicing italian or i don't know just for for fun or or portuguese and then that also you know little by little you might get motivated to do some other things and you know yeah. so something else that i would like to try is is for example at uh, this uh, this level I can I cannot tell you that I'm I'm really good at, at talking in English. No, mm -hmm. I, I still have some some weak uh, some weak areas. But uh, what I would like to try is is try combine. Uh, let's say for example to uh, Spanish. Try to say a sentence in English and then something in Spanish that makes sense and then keep and and, and so on and in mm -hmm. order to make make my mind. To, to force to force it you know exactly to work. That, that's correct that's correct I, I like that part but you know at this point I, i'm not feel i'm not feel okay i do by uh, doing that because you know it's like a, oh man I, right after i said something in english i need to <laughs> i need to change my mind into spanish <laughs> but i need to say something let's yes. say a, a complete sentence okay uh -huh. but then in english it's, it's like a, it's nice it's nice but I, I would try to do that you know in order to to, yeah. to make my yeah. mind work. Exactly. That's uh, you know the uh, the mind. There are many uh, uh, websites you know to that give you a uh, uh, mind. They call them uh, brain brain teasers. You know the brain teasers. Uh, sometimes they they make you. Uh, I'm gonna write it here in the chat for the rest. I mean, it's they're just for fun. I mean, sometimes they are silly questions, silly exercises, but but they make you think, right? And that keeps uh, our brain, you know, alert uh, for thinking and doing many things, right? So that is a brain teaser. It's just uh, uh, those uh, trivia sort of things that make you think for a while. And then after that, it's, ah, that was really silly. But, you know, you were thinking and distracted at the same time. And, and you know, and you learn something. Probably the, it's not something that you're gonna uh, live out of, right? But you know, it cultivates a little bit your the general culture. Okay, okay. You see, it's always good to to have these kind of talks, you know, to to warm up, right, for the class. Okay, people. How about the rest? How are you doing today, Rosalino? All right. Good teacher. Okay, great. That's the attitude. I'm ready to class. Okay, ready to pick a fight with the language. <laughs> okay, good. Maybe. So, yeah, not, uh, not, not with the teacher, right? No, with the language, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. Hello, Hector. Hey, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. How are you doing? Good? Mm, good, teacher. Not bad. Okay. It, today uh, was very exhausting for me because I work a lot. Of, I have a I have a a lot of work in my job, uh -huh. and I do is I I did something to to have yesterday pen pending. Uh -huh. Things that you had a uh, pending from yesterday, yes. You yeah, know, this is when, when we have a hectic day, there is in the chat, you can see a hectic day. It's a day very busy, full of activities, 
okay, that, you know, at the end of the day, you feel, oh, my God, finally, I came to the end of this day because there's an activity after an activity. And sometimes, like you said, Hector, we don't finish. So we have pending for the next day, and then we continue the next day with some other thing. That is a hectic, it's very active day in doing different tasks, right, that we have to to, uh, to do every day. Yeah, teacher, in about you talking about uh, Duolingo, uh -huh. and right now I'm practicing Duolingo in my in my free time, I mm -hmm. practicing when I I have time, yeah. because uh, I, I know the Duolingo helped me a lot of to improve yes. my English. Correct. And I I kept that that helped me very good. Yes, you know, as an in this case, you know, for for you guys as an extra resource is good because you know. You can practice with that, but you no, know, in these classes you can ask in the teacher, and then you can ask me or other teachers, and practice at the same time, right? The in the on that on that platform that like you can learn pronunciation, listening, uh, spelling, grammar, so you can reinforce all those topics. Okay, good. That's nice. I mean, everything we do to learn the language is valid, right? Because uh, remember that. Here in El Salvador, sometimes, probably some of you have the chance or the opportunity to practice English in your work, you know, or with somebody else, with a friend, in the family, I don't know. But in other cases, some of you probably, you only have the chance here in this very short hour, right, that we have, which is 60 minutes is not really much, right? But, uh, but you know, but it, they help, right? To, to listen, to practice, to ask questions, okay? So then that extra help is always welcome. It's always welcome. Okay, good. And Carla Renee, how about you? Any comments, any nice stories to tell us? <laughs> like my... The story of your life? <laughs> okay, I practice two in Duolingo app. Mm -hmm. I start with English, but I um, practice French too. Okay. Like okay, good. Yeah, you see, that's, uh, I mean, there are many tools, right? Platforms that we can use. And sometimes they are, I mean, you don't have to pay, right? There is a, I think there is a premium uh, thing, but, you know, if you do just with the free option is, is good. It's enough, right, to, to practice. Good. And Jenny? How about you, Jenny? Any stories to tell? Jenny? Hello, Jenny. Oh, Jenny is not listening. Jenny, Jenny? Hello, Jenny. Jenny! Jenny. Hello, Jenny. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hello, Jenny. Oh, yeah. no, no, she's no, she just smiling yeah. now. Yes. Good. Yeah, yeah. Jenny. Good. 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 Okay. I'm good. So tonight I feel good. Okay. A lot of work. No, because I'm work in a school and now uh, the babies are in vacation. Oh, really? And so you, are you, okay. So that's and that. now I work. Uh, one day my my class my my class. <laughs> My 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 compañera. My coworker. Uh, coworker. My coworker. My coworker work uh Monday. Uh, me I work so only two days a week. Okay. Tuesday uh, and, and only on the morning. Oh <laughs> wow. One day I will be a I will be a rich man and I will do the same. 
Only, only rich yeah, people. Yeah. Rich usually, people can do Usually, that. my work. Usually, my work is uh, stressful. Yes, because you work with children. Yes. How old are they? Mm -hmm. What What Sorry? age? How old are they? Seven, oh. six, no, five, no, four, no. three, two, one. Around three, three uh -huh. years to f seven years. Yes. It's like a baby's. Yeah, that's uh, a lot of energy. I mean, it's it's nice. It's a nice job. Yes, but it's I need. <laughs> I need, I to, need rest, to rest very very okay. <laughs> okay okay thank you for sharing jenny thank you very much okay, okay. good good night teacher yeah no, no don't go yet no good night no. <laughs> okay good <laughs> no no sorry because i need you know. the other class <laughs> okay because you say good night you say good night it's bye bye yes of course no teacher sorry okay uh, you say can you listen teacher i'm in other class uh, I share with you. Can you hear? No, not right now. Uh, you, 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 are, you are two in one. <laughs> huh? Okay. Yes. Good. I'm right. in, in a call center training. Ah, okay. English? Yes. Okay. Well, then at least, at least you're doing the same thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you okay, teacher. who else is here who wants to share something? I don't know. Sumara? Hi, Sumara. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hello, everyone. Well, today was a, a slow day. Uh, it was not busy. Uh, I worked from 11 to 7 p.m. Okay. And every day, uh, this is my schedule. And well, uh, we are next to the first party of the company. It will be the next uh, Saturday. Mm -hmm. And we are happy because yeah, there's course. no surprise in this month in the company. <laughs> yes, that's nice. And do you have vacation this month? No. No. Oh, yes, wow. I have my day off on ah, yes, one. Ah, yes, you told me last time. Yes, it's true. You told me that. There is no vacation, right? Sometimes even you have to work Sundays and Saturdays, right? On weekends. Whatever, or Christmas or New Year. Uh-huh. Okay, good. Well, but at least you're happy. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> okay. That's, that's a good signal. It's a good signal. Okay, nice. Hello, Ivan. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? How are you doing? Wow. <laughs> doing great. Yeah. Good. Great, great, great. I'm tired too. Yeah, yes, today was not, was not my day off. Uh huh. Yeah, you know, because for, for Ivan, uh, it's, very, it's very difficult his work because he, yes. he works very far, far, far away from his house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> three, because minutes, it's the... three minutes from your house, right? <laughs> the weather <laughs> because we celebrate the Christmas party this day for all, all right. our children see, uh -huh. in, our, in our recreation center. Okay. Uh, I was seeing the pool area uh -huh, as, uh -huh. a, as a lifeguard <laughs> <laughs> for the whole team. Okay. That's with my, my area today. With the okay. children. Wow, wow. How many how many children? Uh, like like uh, one hundred. What? You were the, yeah. you only, you all, only all, you the lifeguard? It, it we we uh, we have it's the, my son was the pool. Okay. Uh, three three song sport in area the pool. <laughs> the I guess pool area. Mm -hmm. Alimentation of the area in my area, the pools. Okay, two good. pools, like yeah. uh, fifty boys, six, six, sixteen boys in, in the pools. Okay. Wow, wow, very very. I I feel tired, <laughs> tired, tired. Okay. The, my face all burned by the sound. <laughs> yes. 
Porque estuviera en la playa. Yeah, that's true. You know, you were all sunburned, right? Sunburned. Sí. So, yeah. Wow. Okay, but, but, but you have fun. Yeah, yes, pong, pong, happy. Yeah. All the day was great. Very good. Excellent. Okay. okay, people. Anybody else who wants to share something, an idea, something you did, something that you didn't do? No? Okay, so remember we were talking about yesterday about recommendations, right? Opinions. Uh, then we did the exercise about shouldn't be allowed, must be permitted. When we uh, shouldn't was for a recommending or probably suggesting, right? Something that we think is good and ma must, okay? When we consider that there is a strong necessity, right? That we have to do something. All right. So the next one is about tag questions. What is a tag? Only the word tag. Okay, Marna, good. Tag. Think about the mean because tag has more than one use. Okay, more than one uh, meaning. Okay, this is in gram in grammar, but it has other meanings. Okay, what is another use that we can give to the word tag. Any idea? Vigneta, vigneta. Aha, okay. Etiqueta. Etiquetar. And when do you find... Etiqueta. Like, well. but where do you find that one? Because there is another word that says label, right? Label too. But the tag, tag, Have you seen the, when you go to a store, let's say a clothing store, okay, and you want to buy a, a shirt, a blouse, a pants, any any garment, any piece of clothes, right? Yeah. Uh, then you see, you take the piece of clothes, and then you want to see the price, correct? And then when you want to see the price, there is something hanging. And then you take it and then you see the price. That is the tag, right? Something attached, something uh, that you have put together with a piece of cloth. So that is a tag. And then here you have a tag question. The tag question is a, is a short question related to a sentence. Okay, there is a sentence before that could be affirmative or negative. And then after you add the word. Uh, for example, the, okay, Sara. Good evening, Sara. How are you doing? Good evening, teacher. Okay. Sara, your middle name is, listen to this, Sara. Your middle name is Elisa, isn't it? Okay, when I say that, we say, Sara, your middle name is Elisa, isn't it? So, what do I expect from Sara is a confirmation. And she said, oh, yes, teacher, yes, it is. My middle name is Elisa. Okay, you say, yes, it is. Why? When you say, for example, Sara, your middle name is Elisa. Yes or no? Okay, then she's going to say yes or she's going to say no. Okay, that is the tag question. For example, today is Thursday, isn't it? Today? Yes, yes. Yes, it is, Samara, right? You say, today is Thursday, isn't it? This is, this is because maybe in this moment, I am uh, I am not sure, okay? I am not sure 
But sometimes we get confused, right? Tuesday, Friday. No, today is not Friday. No. Uh, today is Thursday. Uh -huh. yes. uh, sorry. Uh, uh, but in this case, we don't use uh, a structure to a question if only a sentence is affirmative. And next, uh, the uh, question. The question. Simple form. question. Uh -huh, correct. A short, simple question. Okay. There are some, uh, let's say, uh, some uh, like rules to follow, right? If the sentence is affirmative, the task question is negative. And if the sentence is negative, then the task question is affirmative. Okay. So then, for example, if I say, uh, today, today, uh, no, let me think about, uh, let me think about one. Cuatepeque Lake isn't in Santa Ana. Is it? Okay, the sentence is negative. Cuatepeque Lake isn't in Santa Ana. Uh, is it? Okay, so the sentence negative, the question is affirmative. If I said Cuatepeque Lake is in Santa Ana, isn't it? Okay, so then affirmative teacher. sentence. I use the and, yes. and it is not possible to answer an affirmative answer when the, uh, in this case, uh, the uh, Cuatepec Lake isn't in San Salvador, the tag ending is it, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, we can we can say, is it, if if this uh, was uh, true, or always the rule has to be a negative question, affirmative answer, or can, can be a negative question, negative answer. No, but the answer is what the other person says. Yes. For example, yes. I, like suppose if I said San Sa uh, the, your example, uh, Cuatepeca Lake isn't in San Salvador. Is it? What will you answer? No, it's not. Okay. Uh huh. That's correct. But it can be an um, affirmative uh, answer too. No. Is that, no. No, because it's not true. But the, the question, so it has to be um, related to the answer that we suppose to the another person is going to answer. Uh, well, when I ask, when I use the tag question, is for two things. Mm -hmm. First, I don't know. Okay. Or second, I am not sure. Okay. Oh. If I don't know, for example, suppose they say, uh, Samara, do you have, do you have a son? Okay. You have a son, don't you? So here I don't know. Okay. So then I say, you have a son, don't you? So then, uh, I am, you know, like questioning, right? Don't you? And they say, yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Or no, I don't. That the answer depends on your mm -hmm. reality. Okay. But okay. if I say, for example, uh, a, suppose that it is true, I don't know, and you have one son, suppose, and I say, Xiomara, you have a son, don't you? So the intonation changes. Okay, this one is like, uh, oh, yes, I do. Uh -huh. Just to confirm, because I was not really sure if uh, you told me that you had a son or you didn't. Okay, so these are the two cases when we use the tag question. Mm -hmm. Okay, and and we use it in Spanish a lot, and it's exactly the same. In which case do we use the tag questions in Spanish? We use it in Spanish every day. The only thing that in Spanish sometimes we put it at the beginning, sometimes we put it at the end. And we have a variation of words. But can we uh, ask the this kind of uh, question in Spanish? Uh, uh, we can say, um, 
are, are you live uh, do you live in San Salvador? Really? Uh, uh -huh. are you aren't you? No, then you say really? Okay, or something like that. We really? use in Spanish. ¿verdad? We use in Spanish. Uh-huh. Correct. Uh -huh. Exactly. And sometimes we don't say verdad, right? We say vea. Vera. Va. Then uh that's that's more informal yes. in Spanish, and then we use that one. Okay. Uh usted está en mi clase de inglés, vea. Vea. Then we use that one. Sometimes we use it that way. But that is a tough question. Okay, and then uh Let's watch the video and you will see some more examples and after we can continue with some practice. Look at this. It isn't cheap, is it? For example, you know that uh, Inter de Miami is coming next month, right? To play versus the national team. Okay, so this is a good example. It isn't cheap, is it? <laughs> Joselino, it isn't cheap, is it? Yeah, it's, like, yeah, it's cheap. I is can it? Take it. <laughs> <laughs> for you, yes or no? No. No, I say no. I say, for example, it isn't cheap, is it? Yeah, no, I mean, it isn't cheap at all. It isn't cheap at all. It's very expensive, okay? $200. Wow. Yeah, I mean, the minimum, right? The minimum. Yeah. song. Yeah. Uh-huh, exactly, right? But it's going to be in, it's going to be in the night, so okay, yeah. If, if you go it's to a, a, uh huh, if you go to the palco and pay five hundred dollars, then it's the same position on the general sun. You pay two hundred and it's cheaper, and then you yeah. have this, the same uh the same view, right? Because it's, mm -hmm. you are right in the middle. So in that sense, I think it's better the general sun, right? <laughs> because you're gonna pay less, but you know, but it's still two hundred dollars. Uh, I think in, in our country it's, it's a lot of money. So in that case, uh, well, that game, uh, that uh, game. Only, uh, only a teacher of English, English teacher. Oh yes, yes, that's true. <laughs> okay, yep. can go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but but not me, right? <laughs> the other, <laughs> the other English teacher. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you're right. Okay, now let's watch the video. Here, let me share the Great. sound. Keep on learning. Great. Pay attention to the use of TA questions for opinions. Health insurance, child care bills, rent. Now that I'm going to school and only working part time, I have a hard time making ends meet. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? Yeah. My company used to pay for it when I was working full time. And child care isn't cheap, is it? No, it's not. After I pay for rent and groceries, almost all my money goes to pay for my son's daycare. Colleges should provide free daycare for students with children. I think so, too. But they don't have any services like that at my school. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What is Todd concerned about? Type your answers on our discussion box. Oh, listen to me. I'm always complaining, aren't I? Anyway, how are things with you? Oh, not bad. But I'm still not sure what I'm going to do after I graduate. Yeah, it's hard to find a job these days, isn't it? It's not that. I'm just not sure if going to law school was the right thing to do. What do you mean? I only have a few more months before I graduate. And now I'm wondering why I did this. I don't want to be a lawyer. It all seems like a waste of time now. So what are you going to do? Well, I'd like to move to Mexico and open a coffee shop, but I think my parents would flip. Pay for rent and groceries? Almost all my money goes to pay for my... Okay, right? So here we can see the... Pay. The lady is kind of uh, worried, complaining, stressed, uh, overwhelmed, right? Overwhelmed. You know, so many things that she has to do. You say health care, insurance, uh, child care, bills, uh, rent. And she has to pay the rent of the apartment. Now that I'm going to school and only working part-time. So going to school 
working part-time, okay? Then, so you see, for example, insurance, child, uh, child care bills, rent, uh, what else? Uh, going to school, only working part-time. So then she's having a hard time covering all the expenses, right? And this is, I have a hard time making ends meet. Okay, this is a, a idiomatic expression is, like for example, that how uh, is she has a hard time covering all the uh, responsibilities that she has, right? So, you know, for example, at the end of the month, you are, you know, having a hard time, you know, to to cover everything, making ends meet. Okay, so that is to cover. So this is one end, this is the other end. And if you cover everything, it's okay. But in this case, she has a problem. Then the guy says, health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? Now, this is the point. We use isn't it because the guy is referring to the health insurance. Okay? And the other one said, yeah, my company used to pay for it when I was working full time. In a child care internship, is it? They are talking about the child care. Okay, know about the child, about the action. Okay, the child care, the action of taking care of the kid. So that's why he also used it. Then, no, it is not. After I pay for rent and groceries, almost all my money goes to pay for my son's daycare. Colleges should provide free daycare for the students with children. And they say, I think so too, but they don't have any services like that at my school. Okay, here in Salvador, there is a university that they have it. Okay, you see, for example, when they are referring to the subject, in this case is health insurance. In this other case is the care. Okay, and that's why you are using it. If you refer to a boy, it would be is and he or is he. Okay? But in this case, that's not the point. Questions? What, what does yes. You? Uh, the within the conversation, the man says, uh, "My parents split." What's that? My parents. My parents split. Split at the end of the conversation. Ah, uh, for example, uh, that was in the in the second part. Yeah, the second part at the end. Yes, this is for example when you go. Uh, wow. Maybe uh, when they are probably not really feeling that well, that good with the situation, right? So, for example, you know, like you say that you're uh, flipping is because it's like if you are, you know, turning, turning around something and that you don't find like a solution for something, right? So that, uh, a, you know, like feeling uncomfortable. That's what I would say. Probably that could be a interpretation for that. What else? Any other, and let me see other cases probably could be when, well, let's listen to it and let's see the context because I remember I heard it too. Wait a minute. My son's daycare. Oh, two, but they don't have any. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What no is Todd concerned about? Type your answers on our discussion box. Oh, listen to me. I'm always complaining, aren't I? Anyway, how are things with you? Oh, not bad, but I'm still not sure what I'm going to do after I graduate. Yeah, it's hard to find a job these days, isn't it? It's not that. 
I'm just not sure if going to law school was the right thing to do. What do you mean? I only have a few more months before I graduate, and now I'm wondering why I did this. I don't want to be a lawyer. It all seems like a waste of time now. So what are you going to do? Well, I'd like to move to Mexico and open a coffee shop, but I think my parents would flip. Okay, then you say they will go, they will feel uncomfortable, they will go mad. Okay, they will go crazy, right? Something like that. That's it, my parents are going to flip. Because, you know, obviously, you're about to finish a career and all of a sudden you want to abandon your studies and do something completely different. So that's what it means to go mad, to go crazy. Okay. Then, uh, just for practicing expressions, vocabulary, and pronunciation. Well, Sara, where are you, Sara? I don't see you. Hello. Oh, yes, there you are. Okay, Sara, now you're going to be Sara in the conversation. Okay, that's what I was looking for, Sara. And uh, Oscar, Spravdulio, you are going to be Todd. Okay, read the conversation. Okay. Wait, wait, sorry. What did I do? Okay, go ahead. Health insurance. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm. Okay, there you go. Go ahead. Health insurance. Child care, child care bills. Child care bills rent. Now that I'm going to school and only working part time. I have a hard time making ends meet. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? Yeah, my company used to pay for it when I was working full time. And child uh, care isn't cheap, is it? No, it's not. After I pay for rent and groceries, almost all all my money goes to pay for my son's daycare. College uh, should provide free day care for students with children. I think so too, but they don't have any services like that at my school. At my school. Okay, good. Okay, people, questions about vocabulary? No? Okay. Uh, let me see, Francisco, you are going to be Todd, and Xiomara, you are going to be Sara. Okay, teacher. I'm going to be Sara. Yes. Okay. Uh, health insurance, child care bills, rent. Now that I'm going to school and only working part time. I have a hard time making making ends and meet. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? Yeah, my company used to pay for it when I was working full time. And child care isn't cheap, is it? No, it's not. After I pay for rent and groceries, almost all my money goes to pay for my son's daycare. College should provide free daycare for students with children. I think so. Uh, too, but they don't have any services like that at my school. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Catherine? Catherine, can you hear me? Okay, Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Oops, no. Michelle, no. Okay, Carla, Selena. Yes, teacher. Okay, so you're going to read. Please help me reading the part of Sara. And, Rosalino, 
you read the part of thought. Okay. Okay. I start. Uh, yes. Health in, in health. health insurance. Okay. Health insurance, child care bills, rents. Now that I go into school and only work in part time, I had a hard time making ends meet. Health insurance, health insurance is really expensive, is isn't it? Yeah, my company used to pay for it when I was working full time. And child care isn't cheap, is it? No, it's not. After I pay for rent, uh, groceries, almost all my money goes, goes to pay for my son, they hurt. College should provide free day care for students with children. I think so, too. But they don't have many services like that at my school. Okay, good. That's when you say here, colleges should provide free aid care. Okay, yes. thank you. Okay, very good. Okay, so then, uh, well, in the next part, probably we're going to find somebody else to help me read, okay? Because... And child... Listen to me. I'm always complaining, aren't I? Coffee shop. But I think my parents would flip. Hi, welcome back. Let me ask you something. Learning English is easy, isn't it? I thought so. Okay, she says learning English is easy. Okay, isn't it? So she says the sentence affirmative. Learning English is easy, isn't it? Okay, they are using only it, 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 right? So then if you see, we are practicing only the third person and not for people. Tag questions for opinions. Affirmative statement plus negative tag. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? There are lots of criminals in the city, aren't there? Graffiti makes everything look ugly, doesn't it? Colleges should provide daycare, shouldn't they? Negative statement plus affirmative tag. Child care isn't cheap, is it? There aren't enough police, are there? People don't care about our city, do they? You can't find affordable child care, can you? I will begin the explanation telling you when to use tag questions. We use tag questions when we expect someone to agree with us or when we're asking for confirmation. This is how tag questions work. When a statement is affirmative, the tag question is negative. For example, learning English is easy, isn't it? Learning English is our positive statement. And isn't it is our tag question in negative. We may also do it the other way around. Negative statement, affirmative tag question. Childcare isn't cheap, is it? I also want to explain that when we use be as the main verb, be is also used in the question. Similarly, we use the same model in the main clause and the tag. For example, we should pay our taxes, shouldn't we? However, simple present and past verbs use the auxiliary verb in the tag. For example, graffiti makes everything look ugly, doesn't it? You found affordable childcare, didn't you? Hi, I'm sure you understood this topic, didn't you? In case you didn't, feel free to ask your teacher and watch the explanation if needed. Okay. We use the same model in the main clause. And Questions?
what are who can tell me the rules? Okay, if it is if the sentence is affirmative, the tag is negative. Negative. If the sentence is negative, the tag is positive. Affirmative. Positive. Positive, positive or affirmative. Okay, good. That's one. Uh, we also have to pay attention to the tense. Okay, the tense that we are using. If we use present, okay, in the task question, we're going to use present. Okay, if we use past, the task question is going to be in past. If we use future, the tag is going to be future. If we use modal auxiliaries, like would, should, could, can, the tag question is going to be with would, should, can, must, okay? Now, I will show you some examples, some extra examples here for you to have an idea. Okay, for example, we have here, Samantha doesn't like. Okay, then the rest is the complement, right? But here we we'll have to pay attention to Samantha. What is the role of Samantha in this sentence? Samantha is the subject. The subject, correct. Doesn't like is the action, correct? Then in the tag question, we are going to use does she? Okay, and then we're gonna paste it. Okay. Here, right? Well, okay, good. It's rebel today. Then when I use that she. Okay, the she belongs to Samantha. Okay. And thus is related to the main action. Right? When we say, for example, doesn't like. So that's why this is the tag. So it's an it's like a, that's what it's called tag, right? Because it's a little question, short question attached at the end of a sentence, okay? And then this is what they call the tag question. Samantha doesn't like cats very much, does she? Okay, uh, for example, uh, let me see, Luis Eduardo. Now, Luis, Neftali, I, I'm trying to make, I would like everybody to participate, so that's what I'm asking you. Uh, Melissa? Yeah. Okay, Melissa, uh, tell me something that you like, anything, something that you like. Uh, coffee. Okay, very good, nice, thank you very much. Okay, people, listen. Melissa likes coffee. What is that, I'm going to write it here. What is the tag question for that sentence? Melissa. Doesn't she? Okay, Melissa likes uh -huh, coffee. Comma, oh, there is a comma, right? And then you say? Doesn't she? Doesn't she? Doesn't she? Yeah. Okay, very good. And the the answer will be. Does it? No, the answer. Oh. Yes, Melissa likes coffee. Okay, Melissa likes coffee, or yes, she does. Yes, she does. No, but no problem. You can say Melissa, and it's just fine. Okay, no problem. You say yes, Melissa does. Actually, she loves coffee. You can add more, right? You say, if you know, if you know very well, Melissa, say, 
Well, actually, she loves coffee. She drinks like five cups of coffee in the morning, five cups of coffee in the afternoon, and three in the evening. Melissa, how much coffee do you drink? Uh, in the day? Uh -huh. uh, two or three times. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Acceptable. Yeah. Okay, yes. All right, good. So then uh, sometimes, sometimes I drink uh, five or six cups of coffee. Two in the morning. No, three in the morning. And two in the afternoon. One in the evening. My goodness, six cups of coffee. Now I understand why I don't sleep. <laughs> and in the night I am awake. Okay, you see? This is, for example, then... Uh, a, let me see... I'm going to add Oscar. No, no, Oscar. Yes. Oscar, what kind of music do you listen to, Oscar Abdulio? Uh, no, I like, especially, uh, I, last time I told you that uh, I like uh, the smooth jazz uh, music, but you know, they also like uh, R&B music, the one from the, from the, from the black people. In the state. Okay, I like, like, like the blues. R&B, reading and blues, reading and blues. Okay, good. So then uh, let's say that in general, how would you consider that, a, let's say, uh, that habit? Listening to jazz music, maybe? Jazz? How am I, how am I considering? Uh-huh. For example, let uh, say Oscar listens. To jazz and blues, right? Suppose, okay. Then, right. what is the tag question for this one, people? Does he? Does he? Okay, does and he. Okay, so if you see now, okay, here we are using she. Here, Melissa, we are using she. Yes, she does. And then here we're using doesn't he? Yes, he does. Yes, and he the does. yes, correct. And the answer would be yes, he does. Good. Okay, now look at this one. You would like to stay with us next week. Then this is the construction of would. Would. Okay, I will omit this one and then we say a word. So the answer, I mean, the question is Wouldn't you? Wouldn't uh, you? Wouldn't you? Okay, wouldn't you? Okay, wouldn't you? And then? Yes. Yes, I would. would. Yes. I would. Yes, I would. would. Yes, I would. Correct. Comma, yes, I would. All right. You'll like to stay with us next week, wouldn't you? Yes, I would. Okay, so you see, we are using according to the auxiliary verb. Okay. Then we are going to create the that question. And here, the question is for you. Okay, then we use you. And in the answer, obviously, you're going to ask, wouldn't you? Yes, I would. Or, no, I wouldn't. The answer can be affirmative or negative, right? That depends on your reality, okay? As I said before. So then, uh, then you have this one. You shouldn't work so much anymore. What is the question, the tag question? Say, for example, Sumara, you should. Should, work. should uh -huh. you? Should you? Should you? Should you? Should me? Should you? Uh huh. Why? I uh, know. Because you say, Peter. It's like I say, for example, hey, Hector, uh, I am giving an advice, you know, to piece of advice to Hector. 
Hector, you shouldn't work so much anymore. And then I said, uh, should you? And then Hector say, uh, yes. Uh, then he say, yes, I should. I shouldn't. Okay, or no, I shouldn't. Or you can answer differently, right? Well, yes, but I need money. Yes, but I have to pay bills. Yes, but uh, in this moment, I have to, too many responsibilities. Oh, yes, I have a lot. Yes, but I have a lot of bills to pay. Something like you accept the advice or, okay, but you work because you have other things to do. So the answers will depend, again, I said, uh, depend on your reality. Okay, but you're going to use should you. Look at this. You are pretty tired after the football match. Aren't you? Okay, so what is the verb? Are. Okay, so here we have the verb, which is are. And then obviously this changes to negative. Aren't you? And then we have the answer. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. Good. Then, well, we don't have much time, but I have some other, but this one, I'm going to, what is this one? Everything is happy about the decision. Isn't it? I don't know. Sure. Everyone is one person or many people? Many people. Many people, are they? Yeah. Okay. But... Aren't they? Okay. Aren't yeah. they? Why aren't they? Because, very good. Because we're talking about a group of people, right? Okay, for example, yeah. here say, uh, everybody is happy about this. So you can say, aren't they? Oh, yes, they are. No, they aren't. Okay, today we are going to have a uh, two Christmas bonus for everybody. Okay, everybody is happy about the decision, aren't they? Yes, everybody is really, really happy. Okay, uh, tomorrow I will show you more. Oh, I might share this one with you guys today. None of you have succeeded. Uh, have you? So then you can say didn't. So we have a lot. We have with can, can, am I? Uh, so we have some others. Okay. So just let me. Check. Now, uh, do you have any questions? No, teacher. No? Okay. This one, probably the explanation is easy and everything, but remember what it needs a lot is practice, okay? A lot of practice. Okay, just let me go. Francisco Antonio is here, right? Giovanni. Yes, teacher. Giovanni is here too. Hector Ivan, yeah. And Ivan Ibrahim. Here, teacher. Uh, there you are. Joel Emanuel. Jorge, yes, is here. Jorge Alberto, yes. Hey, Jose Lino is here. Yes. Hey, Julio Cesar. Didn't see the doctor today. Right, uh, we have uh, Carla Selena. Yeah. Carla Rene is here too. Catherine, here as well. Then we Present have- Present Yes, Luis Eduardo. Marlene, oh, yes. Yes, I see in the chat with Eduardo. Eh, Marlene, Elizabeth. Present. Okay, Melissa. Present. Michelle. Nestle. Oscar Alexander. Present, teacher. Okay, Oscar Obdulio is here too. Romeo. Present teacher. Sara Elisa. Yes, is here. Present. 
Sofi, Sofia. No. I'm sure she was not here either. And Wendy. Then we have Yomara. Present. And Jen. Present. Oh, yes. Okay, very good. Okay, people. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Same time. We're going to continue with the tag questions and a, all right, and a little surprise, okay? So to, remember, tomorrow we have a class. It's Friday, <laughs> but we have a class, okay? Good. So okay. have a very good night. See you tomorrow. Thank, thank you for the class, teacher. Okay, thank you good very night, much. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye. Bye.